Okay, good morning, everybody. So today, um, yeah, last night, I'm sorry, not today, last night, I put this on my face. I hope it doesn't have an expiration date because it doesn't, wait, expires 2022. Okay, good. Because I bought it last year. <laughs> I bought it last summer. And this is Jergens Natural Glow. <clears throat> to tan your face this is what I'm going to be using um, I used it last night it's got SPF so it's actually a good sunscreen it's got daily moisturizers it gradually creates flawless natural looking color when used once daily so I use it at night Oh, it says do not apply every two hours if you're trying if you're using an, if you're wanting just the sunscreen. Now, for sunscreen on your face, I recommend this. It's Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen, um, S30 SPF. It's water resistant, and I put this on my face because you need sunscreen. People keep asking why my skin looks so good. Um, wearing less makeup. If you don't, if you can get away with not wearing face makeup, then do that. Because I went years without wearing face makeup. I always wore eye makeup and lipstick. And then this, this, the, this, this discoloration started popping up in my 40s. When I turned 40, um, like it, lo it looks like I have a mustache, but I don't. I don't. I just have this weird discoloration, and I also have freckles, which I never. I don't. I, I never had freckles as a kid. I got freckles, and you you can't see them now. You can see a hint. Do you see how I have a brown spot over my just a, a faint brown spot? I, I wish I could um, find some before pictures. It never occurred to me to take some, but and and it, and the brown spot comes right down here with this lighting. You should see it. it's it comes down here. It used to be darker, like almost a chocolate, like almost not actually almost like a light birthmark. That's what it looked like, and I. Uh, tried to figure out how to get rid of it and um, and then I found something for like four dollars okay this is it vanishing cream it I have a spatula hold on no I thought I had a spatula it's it feels like glue but not that sticky but it's got a consistency that I can't get it on the spot Avon doesn't mess around when it comes to skincare makeup I can do without makeup I really do. I just, I have every single eyeliner you can think of because they're like $2.99. And then I get my, rep, they're $2.99 when they're on sale, $3.99 regularly. So why, so I like wipe them out. I have green and purple. I just always resort to my black because I love the black. It's called the blackest, the blackest black is actually what it's called. Anyway, but when it comes to skin here, now watch. I want you to see if you can see this. If you can see what it, my skin does. Do 
Did you see that? Watch. It's got a tap to it, which makes it the best. That is what you want for primer. It makes your, your makeup stay on. Now, you don't have to use it like that. You can use it at night. I cannot tell you how many I've sold of these. This is it. If you don't buy anything else from Avon, I'm telling you, you gotta get banishing cream. And it and and this is not even the Korean stuff. Like like they 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 um they have Korean um skincare products that are amazing. A fraction of what they would cost in Korea or at a at a high end um, beauty supplier. So never mind the South the, the South Korean skincare products that Avon is selling. But they also sell their old stuff, their old school stuff, Avon Solutions. That's the cheap stuff. And that, it's like this dramatic firming will take any wrinkle out of your, like I had a crinkle. I had a little crinkle in my, like uh, my cleavage used to be so pretty. Um, and it's starting to look its age. And I put this dramatic firming on it. And then the banishing cream um, I'm trying to think. The banishing cream is this, and the reason I, guess I have to point and edit because um, it was for $4.99 for a long time. I think it still is. I think it's still $4.99. And then you can get the big one for $5.99 or $6.99. So there's a bigger jar. And I, every person that I sell Avon to has bought this, has bought this, especially people who know me because they know I had the big, you know, looks like a birthmark brown spots. And then I put this on and it, they just keep it simple. It actually says banishing cream, skin discoloration improver. That's it. That's all it does. It just helps your skin. Um, and nourishing cream helps even skin tone by gradually brightening skin to reduce the appearance of unwanted dark spots and discoloration. Moisturizers uh, keep skin soft and smooth, formulated with an Avon Daily Skin Allowance of nutrients and supplements, um, including a, a Batani. I don't. Uh, I tried to read that without my glasses. Okay, with uh, with a yeah, Batani brightening blend and vitamin A and E to help clear skin of spots and discolorations. Avon recommends the daily use of sunscreen to prevent further sun damage. I guess it's a sun damage, but anyway. There it is. You could also put this on your hands for if you're if you're starting to get spots on your hands, which I I haven't. Thank goodness. Okay, here we go. Let's get into it. Ah. peach you know I love this palette you know I do let's get into it I just love this palette it's just adorable it's fun oh I, I can do another giveaway because I uh, I was able to transfer money for my tiktok my tiktok my tiktok money so I can give another giveaway you know what let's do another giveaway then um, let's do one of these, right? I did this before. I gave this away and what the heck did I do with my thing? And I'm, I love these, the little mermaid. Isn't that precious? I still haven't opened some of these, but I'm in love with that. They're just so pretty. I mean, I love my, I, I think I got this from um, Epsi. Mm. 
just comment. Tell me what you've done for yourself this week, this weekend. And, and if you haven't done anything for yourself, that, you know, it's not okay. <laughs> you need to do something just for you. Did you paint your nails? Did you um, condition your hair an extra time? Did you uh, put on some makeup? You know, did you watch a TV show and not let your kids have the TV? To me, that was very special because my kids... Um, when they were growing up, we watched whatever they wanted. And I guess we parents, what the heck are my eyebrows doing? Oh my gosh. What is that? Anyway, I, I, we, we grow accustomed to the stuff that they watch, you know? I remember one time I was in the living room, we were watching SpongeBob, that's the generation my kids are. And we were watching SpongeBob SquarePants. And I'm just sitting there enjoying it and enjoying my time with my children. And I'm laughing and I'm laughing. And then I look around. They're not even in the room with me. I'm watching it all by myself. What's happening here? Oh, I didn't change the channel. I just kept watching. I liked, I liked it. I just, you know, you... Oh my God, that's when I knew I'm losing brain cells. <laughs> Raising kids loses brain cells. Uh, watching the shows, and then if you have kids, then you know it's it's not just one and done. Oh no, again. So Shrek came out when my kids were little, and it was like we watched the whole movie, and then they would like clap, and they're like again. <laughs> oh God, seriously. Oh, they had their yeah they were they were they were little kids when Shrek came out Ratatouille all those and you know thank God someone said does it some of them have like little off-color jokes which is not very kid friendly I'm like go to hell <laughs> we parents have to watch that show so let them let them have a little bit of you know uh, off-color jokes and let them have, uh, you know, because I, I think Ratatouille has a couple of jokes that would go over any kid's head, and I'm like, how does that pass? But then I realized, because we are the ones that have to watch this stuff, we parents are the ones that have to be entertained as well, and we're not going to sit there and watch it for the third time. <sighs> Mm, I see the green that I want. Should I? Yeah. Let's go into this. Should I? Yes. Why not? What am I doing? What do I want to do? Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, it's very light, so never mind. I'm gonna do the whole lid. It's not as pigmented as I thought. This color, at least. That looks weird. I don't know if I'm a fan of that. Like I told you, any painting can be fixed with a nice frame. So if you got some good eyeliner and mascara, you can fix any problem because I'm not. <sighs> wow. I'm not happy with that color at all. But I'm not, I mean, I gotta go to work. I can't be sitting here. Now, let's set the 
the brush I want. I need a dense brush. Okay, you'll do. You'll do. It's coming on very light. What the padoodle? My coworker says that all the time to his students. What the padoodle? I don't know. This doesn't look good. I'm having a bad eye day. That's okay. That's okay. We can fix this. Just. It's going to be a... Okay. <clears throat> I'll show you how I'm going to fix it. Gotta fix this because it just looks horrible. today I bought so many blacks <laughs> Shadow to the rescue.
I have a green and I can't find it. I think, that, I think I fixed it up. Okay. I'm telling you, if you frame your eyes with some good eyeliner and some mascara, you can fix any kind of caca. So, let's, I'll do mascara last. I always do mascara last.
Yes, I'm putting blush on when I have the setting powder in. It's okay. It'll come out, you'll see. Hey Google, what time is it? Good. Where's my setting spray?
Here we go. <laughs> That's how I fixed it. That's how I fixed it. Okay. So, I'm good to go. I gotta find my setting spray, but that's what happens when you have a little, when you have a, a little teenager in the house. She takes things. Y'all have a great Monday. Y'all have a great week. And um, go ahead and leave a comment because I'm still waiting to get to send out my Australian giveaway. My last winner was is from Australia and I excuse me I ordered a bunch of Texas stuff because I mean I want to make it a nice package since I'm sending it all the way to Australia so I'm waiting for some Texas goodies to come in and I got I'm sending that out um, so uh, we're gonna do another giveaway I'm giving away these adorable collection of brushes there's a lot of them I'm gonna give you my used ones no I'm just kidding <laughs> Um, and then this one, and we'll make it end, um, on Thursday, not Friday. Cause Thursday is my Friday Thursday. Uh, cause that's my work schedule. Um, Monday to, um, Thursday. So Thursday, I will, my nails go great with this palette. <laughs> okay guys. Y'all have a great Monday.